I wanted to say something today about creating consciously. And uh, I want to introduce this concept, first of all, by saying that it is a great deal of fun when we are able to create our life consciously and to determine the outcome. And there are a number of ways that we can do this in my experience. And one of them is to understand that we create our lives sometimes unconsciously through the beliefs and thoughts that we have that may be operating subconsciously. And therefore, when this happens, we can sometimes see things turning up in our lives that we weren't really consciously wanting to produce. But they've turned up and often to teach us a lesson often just to wake us up and sometimes to make us more aware of what we really do want to create in our life. And so I want to talk about this process and how we can create consciously, which can be a great deal of fun. But one of the keys to doing this is to not be put off and to not judge ourselves when we create things in our lives that are not what we intended because that's all part of the process is learning how to be a creator consciously of what we want to manifest in our lives which as i say can be great fun so when we create consciously, one of the good things to bear in mind, in my experience, is to be aware of any of those beliefs that may be hiding in that subconscious that we may not be aware of, so that we can clear them out and so that we're not going to be manifesting based on subconscious beliefs but based on conscious beliefs about ourselves and about the world, which is a very much more authentic way to create our life on purpose, rather than accidentally running into it and creating all this stuff that we don't want. So, one tip that I find very useful is actually to have a look at that stuff, drag it out of the subconscious. No, I'm only joking. Identify if it's there, squirreled away, causing problems as far as what we're manifesting in our life is concerned, and then clear that out so that we have space to consciously put those beliefs in there and desires that we want to manifest in our lives. And I always bear in mind that anything I desire or any belief I have is always based on self-love and love for other people. So it need not be anything Ever that is detrimental to another person because that's not cool is it so bearing that in mind that we are world lovers we love other people and we love ourselves it's a good idea to have a look at the types of beliefs and things that we may have hoarded underneath the subconscious that we need to bring out so that we can continue in a authentic manner based on what we truly want to manifest and to create the life that we truly want to live. So that's one tip there which I hope is helpful. The other 
other tip is um, focused consciousness. Rather than allowing our consciousness to be here, there and everywhere when we're trying to create, it's a good idea to understand where we truly want to focus our consciousness so that we can consciously focus on exactly what we want to create so that that energy will resonate within us and will attract only those things that are hopefully all good that we want to create in our life and we want to enjoy. So it's a good idea during all this practice to remain high vibrational, to remain in joy, to clear out the negativity so that we really create from a place of purity and love and joy and therefore things are an awful lot more fun when we do so. So that next tip is Focusing our consciousness on what we truly want to manifest. And when we do this process, it might be a good idea to write it down first. Because this helps us to see or feel any resistance to this thing that we are trying to manifest. Because that resistance may be an energy that can stop what we want to create coming to us. Because we then are operating out of resistance. Which is almost like saying, I don't want that thing to come, but I do want it to come. But then again, I don't want it to come. Oh yes, I do. And so you find this backwards and forwards, push and pull dynamic where this thing may appear sporadically and then disappear because we're not really sure or we may not have given, up, given ourselves permission to have that thing. So when we write it down, I want to create and attract such and such. If there is resistance that comes up, we need to non-judgmentally look at that resistance and ask ourselves, why is it there? Do we not feel that we deserve that thing? Is there fear attached to having that thing? Are we not sure that we can handle having that thing? So writing it down is a really good tip so that we can Identify any blocks and resistance and identify whether we truly, truly want this thing or not. My third tip is to make creating consciously a habit. Because when we practice something habitually, it becomes easier and also it becomes more fun because we're not having to work at it every time we do it. So when we first start to create consciously and focus consciously, we may have to keep reminding ourselves to do it over and over again. But eventually, creating consciously becomes a habit. And far more fun and we get used to identifying when we've created things that we don't really want which can happen and that's all part of the process as long as we handle things with love and forgiveness and enjoy so I hope those tips are useful on um, creating consciously 
what you want to create in your life because we do create our own reality which is great fun as always stay safe and very happy bye bye